Um, EVs uh, in China in particular is a very hyper competitive market. Uh, CATL with over 30 per, 30% share, they have over 30% of the uh, one third of, the, of all of the EV uh, battery. So CATL has just launched a new type of battery which can dominate all the EVs in the industry, hypothetically. Well, the most fascinating aspect of these batteries is that they are far more sustainable than lithium. It is less expensive because it does not use pricey raw ingredients. The identified source of raw materials in the world for the production of lithium-ion batteries are predicted to be only about 79 million tons. After that, we would wait around 114 years in order to harvest more. Now, it's not only pricey, but there are also concerns that there won't be enough of it to meet our unlimited demand for electric vehicle batteries. However, there are other resources, mainly salt, which has 35 kilograms per cubic meter of seawater and there are deposits on land as well. It's inexpensive and all over the place. So the real question is whether the new batteries with materials made from salt could replace lithium and what advantages does it offer over lithium batteries? In today's video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about this amazing breakthrough. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Tesla Car World, and hit that notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Without further delay, let's get started. The sodium ion battery, or SIBs, is a type of rechargeable battery that uses sodium ions as its charge carriers. It has attracted much interest as an alternative to lithium ion batteries for energy storage due to their low cost and natural abundance of sodium resources. But how does the sodium ion battery become the cheapest battery? Elon Musk said the cost of analysis of sodium ion batteries proves it is most affordable at 40 US dineros per kilowatt hour versus lithium ion batteries at $100 per kilowatt hour. Indeed, the gap of $60 that sodium batteries have created has made it difficult for lithium batteries to keep up. Moreover, the cost per kilowatt hour for lithium iron phosphate batteries is on average 97 US dollars per kilowatt hour which is 2.4 times more expensive than sodium batteries. The primary reason for considering sodium as a replacement for lithium in batteries is that sodium resources are abundant, widely available, and relatively inexpensive. Sodium is a primary component of table salt and chemically similar to lithium, making it a viable alternative. With the increasing demand for lithium batteries in electric vehicles, consumer electronics, and energy storage devices, there is a shortage of raw materials for battery production, causing an increase in the price of finished batteries. Consequently, electric vehicles such as Tesla cars become more expensive. In response to this, many companies are exploring the use of sodium as a replacement for lithium in batteries for EVs, as it is a more affordable alternative. Imagine what the price difference could mean to the price of new EVs. At current prices, the Tesla Model Y's cost for a new 75 to 82 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack would come in at about 12,000 US, but it only costs 3,000 when using sodium batteries, which helps you decrease the budget by four times. It can then be said that sodium ion batteries are proving to be the suitable solution to reduce manufacturing costs and also price of final products. It relies less on fossil fuel and reduces the cost barrier to electric vehicle adoption. But how does the life cycle of the sodium ion batteries compare to lithium ion? The lifespan of sodium ion batteries is around the ballpark of 60 years or more, which is at least 40 more years compared to lithium ion batteries, 20. In addition, it is almost six times higher than GM's Ultium battery, which only lasts around 11 to 18 years. The Pacific Northwest National Laboratory Department developed sodium ion technology that uses a natural fire extinguishing solution that is also impervious to temperature changes and can operate at high voltages. This feature is the ultra-thin protective layer that forms on the anode. This ultra-thin layer remains stable once formed, providing a long cycle life 
for sodium batteries. Such an ultra-long lifespan not only promotes the feasibility and commercialization of sodium ion batteries, it also points to new development directions of next-generation energy storage for a wider range of applications. But how does the capacity of sodium ion batteries perform? Is it even better than lithium ion? The silicon battery technology targets applications in the fast charge and discharge markets. Recent breakthroughs in sodium battery technology mean that this battery can charge to 80% capacity in 5 minutes, which takes away the dominance of traditional lithium batteries by 2-3 to three hours of charging time. With the same level of battery capacity, sodium batteries charge 36 times faster than lithium batteries. China has been experimenting on sodium ion batteries and have found that the sodium ion managed to retain 80% capacity after 1200 cycles, which is longer by 6 times with lithium batteries at only 200-300 to 300 cycles. These results show that sodium batteries can handle more charge and discharge cycles than current lithium-ion batteries. Additionally, sodium batteries with capacities around 100 mAh were obtained with relatively high working potentials between 0 to 1.2 volts, which is compared to sodium titanate battery delivered capacities of only 90 mAh. On the other hand, comparing the energy density currently, CATL found that their sodium ion battery showed an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram. Until now, CATL says the second generation of sodium ion batteries will reach 200 watt hours per kilogram, in fact, which is higher than 3.2 times when compared to lead acid batteries ranging from 50 to 100 watt hours per kilogram. Hands down, sodium ion batteries take the cake when it comes to higher energy density and it's going to transform the EV industry with advancements in energy consumption and portability. But based on these superior characteristics of battery capacity, how does Tesla apply sodium batteries? Now, the majority of Tesla's battery supply for the manufacturing of electric vehicles is CATL. It's the world's largest battery maker who is the leader in developing and commercializing the first sodium ion battery technology for the EV industry. CATL has been a major supplier of Tesla batteries since 2020. The company mentioned that the signing of the agreement represents Tesla's further recognition of the product quality and production capacity of the company's batteries, which is conducive to strengthening the long-term and stable cooperative relationship between the company and Tesla, and in line with the interests of the company and its shareholders. This contract just specified the ultimate purchase price and volume for the battery, leaving the chemical makeup of the battery cells to be established based on actual orders. Also, starting back in 2022, Tesla began and purchasing additional batteries from BYD. BYD is one of the few battery manufacturers that can provide huge quantities of lithium iron phosphate batteries, a material on which Tesla has come to rely extensively on for its less expensive vehicles. CATL and BYD are the pioneers in researching sodium ion batteries to power EVs. This high-tech battery will become their flagship product in the future. Tesla will undoubtedly be the first user of sodium batteries once the better qualities are validated and ready for usage in their EVs. Tesla is currently currently using the good characteristics of lithium iron phosphate batteries for its automobile products, but sodium batteries will undoubtedly overtake LFP as the battery technology industry leader in the near future. This demonstrates that Elon Musk has long conducted thorough research on this battery material. And we actually discovered a, again, looking at a sort of first principles physics standpoint, um, in, instead of just the way it's always been done, um, is we found that uh, we can actually use table salt, uh, sodium chloride, or remove the lithium. It is an interesting thing that CATL intends to construct a new facility with an annual capacity of 80 gigawatt hours immediately adjacent to the Tesla factory in Shanghai in order to enhance this collaboration. This demonstrates that partnership between Tesla and CATL is ongoing preeminently. By 2025, the business also intends to increase construction of a thousand EVOGO battery swap stations outside of China, with the majority going to markets in Europe and the US. I would say this will start in China this year. We will step by step check the overseas footprint of EVOGO, Li Xiaoning, executive president of international commerce applications at CATL, told CNBC. We shall gradually examine EVOGO's global footprint. Additionally, Tesla and BYD have just become extraordinarily tight allies. 
Both Tesla and BYD have announced publicly that their collaboration will continue. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, on the other hand, said that Tesla and BYD have a good relationship. Relations between Tesla and BYD are positive. All will be evident towards solidifying, solidifying the choice to adopt sodium battery technology in Tesla electric vehicles based on the support of these two big suppliers. So now you know about the potential partnership between Tesla and the two big battery producers, CATL and BYD. Next, what's the deal with sodium batteries operating temperatures? Sodium ion batteries display amazing thermal stability, meaning it has an operating temperature which is 4.5 times greater than and lithium ion batteries. It performs well in low temperatures around negative 30 degrees Celsius to over 60 degrees Celsius, retaining 90% capacity. Meanwhile, lithium batteries have a very short operating temperature range of only 15 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Also, sodium batteries come with a big advantage, which is they keep almost all of their charge when temperatures fall far below freezing, something lithium batteries typically do not do. With the weather in the United States being how it is, it gets pretty cold. So the use of sodium batteries is the best option because at low temperatures, usually below zero, that increases the resistance of the battery, limiting the power that the battery can deliver and locking away some of the stored energy. A cold battery is the biggest obstacle preventing the battery from fast charging. Another important factor is lower thermal runaway. The phenomenon of chain exothermic reactions is lower in the battery, causing a sharp decrease in the internal battery temperature, allowing the inner structures of the battery to be more stable, which combines with a naturally fire extinguishing solution that is also impervious to temperature changes and can operate at high voltages. It maintains stable performance and provides a long cycle life for sodium batteries. So why is the raw material source of sodium batteries more abundant? Well, sodium is one of the easiest material to, to uh, get. Uh, the humans are doing this since thousands of years. I mean, we get it from seawater, Africa, and then we get uh, quite a lot of sodium chloride. There are about 35 grams of sodium chloride for kilogram of water. So this is a very high fraction in, in, in weight with respect to any other material practically. Yeah, and we don't even need to extract it from seawater. There are salt mines that have been uh, already exploited since uh, maybe a couple of thousand years. Sodium materials are widely available and cost next to nothing. The price of raw salt is 80 to 100 US dollars per ton which is 462 times less than the $37,000 per ton of raw materials for lithium batteries. The price for lithium is on the rise, and its production is problematic as ore deposits are unevenly distributed around the world, and its storage capacity can also be another problem. With huge demand for lithium resources for powering such so much of the new portable electronics and electric vehicles being developed, as well as storing the energy produced by wind farms, lithium deposits on Earth are not adequate to drive the high demand and long-term clean energy goals in the manufacturing industry, as the resources for producing lithium batteries exist for only two and a half billion battery units, and we are running out because all of these sources on Earth take a long time to renew. So the sodium ion battery is the research and development path long-term. Unlike lithium batteries, the sodium batteries do not require scarce materials like cobalt and nickel. For example, the United States accounts for over 90% of the world's readily mined reserves for sodium chloride. According to the New York Times, beneath the southwestern Wyoming desert, there is a vast deposit of sodium that was formed 50 million years ago. For centuries, it has been mined to meet the many needs of America's manufacturing industry. Overall, demand for batteries is growing fast, and lithium is unlikely to remain the dominant material indefinitely. So let's review. Where exactly is the sodium battery going to be manufactured? Commercialization of sodium ion battery technology has been spearheaded by Chinese businesses. China has been far ahead of the rest of the world in the advancement of sodium-based batteries up until this point. Currently, 16 out of 20 global sodium battery facilities are owned by China, and have been built and are being planted in the future. To shape and develop the future of sodium ion battery technology, thousands of scientists, engineers, and industrial personnel are working in Changsha, 
a city located deep inside China which is working hard and researching more about it. Moreover, graduates of the Central South University are researching and improving upon the technology. In China, countless factories combine materials with highly processed chemicals to create rechargeable batteries. Now, China is positioning itself to command the next big innovation in rechargeable batteries, replacing lithium with sodium, which is far cheaper and more abundant. But what potential does sodium batteries have for the future? In the EV industry, both CATL and BYD intend to use sodium ion batteries in series produced EVs before the end of this year. The Chinese giant CATL, the world's largest manufacturer of electric car batteries, said it has discovered a way to use sodium cells and lithium cells in a single electric car's battery pack, combining the low cost and weather resistance of sodium cells. They already released their own sodium ion batteries in 2021 and are planning to ramp up production this year. For their first step, CATL has installed lithium batteries the size of minivans at electric car charging stations in cities like Fuzhou. The batteries automatically charge whenever electricity is cheap, like overnight or when the sun is shining on the charging station's rooftop solar panels. They'll be found on smaller, more affordable entry-level EV models. Another competitor is automaker BYD, who is rumored to debut a Kia Picanto-sized BYD Seagull. Electric microcar user Sodium Ion Tech in base variants this year, as well as introducing it on the Dolphin Small Hatchback. Meanwhile, British startup Faradian has has been developing sodium ion batteries since its inception in 2011. Its batteries are already in production with the first commercial energy storage battery installed in Australia late last year. Considering the development process, research into using sodium for batteries began in earnest in the 1970s, led then by the United States. Japanese researchers made crucial advances a dozen years ago. Chinese companies have since updated and taken the lead in commercializing the technology. Of the 20 sodium battery factories now planned or already under construction around the world, 16 are, again, like I've said before, in China. In two years, China will have nearly 95% of the world's capacity to make sodium batteries, and it's predicted that lithium battery production will reduce output at that point and advances in sodium will be accelerating. From the Clean Technica Communications Center, nobody outside of China is paying much attention to the possibility of using sodium ion batteries for vehicles or energy storage. Although the DOE is conducting some research on the subject, in China, dozens of government-funded labs are working on sodium batteries. In other places, the Swedish sodium ion battery developer also has created cathodes, electrolytes, battery cells, and blueprints to build market-leading sodium ion batteries. With its innovation patent from the Angstrom Laboratory at Uppsala University, the company aims to become the primary supplier of sodium ion batteries in Europe, enabling a better battery at scale and making a real impact on the world. When can this battery be applied across the electric vehicle industry? Do you think the sodium ion battery is a good alternative to lithium ion batteries? Let us know in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to ring the bell so you can stay up to date on new Tesla Car World content. Once again, we thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.